folks, this is how you roll right here. You all right, baby? You comfortable? You, get, you even got enough room to play Facebook. That's the way you roll right here, folks. I ride on the back. All right, let's do it. Yeah, folks, I was talking to my buddy, Cowboy, this morning. I was talking about going to s and r Prices of liquor, you know, obviously cheaper over there than the JJ's. But you know why I love going to JJ's? Because there's always beautiful women up in JJ's. That makes it all worth it. Okay, you want to meet a beautiful lady? Step number one, just start riding around in a jeepney. You don't want to ride around in a jeepney? Just go to JJ's, get you a cart, <laughs> spend two hours in JJ's, and then you'll see about 30 of the most beautiful women you've ever seen in your life. That's all you got to know. Cargo problem here. Yeah, don't lose them waters. Baby, hold on to them waters over there, okay? Hold on, baby. Can we mount back up here? What? Appreciate him doing that. Certainly don't want to lose one of them waters. Anyhow, so. <laughs> this JJ's the cheapest place to go and buy stuff certain things about the same price, certain things it ain't. My goodness. All the ladies that work up and down Fields Avenue and Walker Street, coming in there to JJ's. So many times they're just in their pajamas. Don't break the eggs, baby. I'm at my buddy's water shop, okay? Now, in the Philippines, you, you know, you can't drink the tap water. You have to buy purified water. Now, once you buy the plastic thing, it's just a few bucks. It's 25 pesos, which is roughly 50 US cents to refill the water jugs. So everybody in this country uh, refills the jugs, right? Um, so let me just show you, the gentleman just explained it to me. The raw water comes into this tank here. Okay, so that's that's your holding tank for the raw water. It starts out by going through this filter here, which apparently is a very expensive filter. After it goes through that filter, it comes through the, uh, the sand filters through these tanks. Then it comes down through uh, this series of filters here. And the last step is to go through this ultraviolet water sterilizer, okay? And once it does that, and then it gets piped over here to the filling station. So both of these right here are purified clean water, okay? Now, interesting, he just showed me the test, and I wanna get him to, re to, to do the test again so we can show you what the levels are. Okay, all right, so there you go. So his water is reading a 003, and you said it has to be 15 or below? Yeah, for purified water. Okay, so to be categorized as purified water, it has to be 15 or below. Now right here, we're rocking a three. So now he's gonna do a test over here to show you they're not playing around, okay? Uh, okay, so he'll do the wastewater test. 235. 235? Yeah. Oh, okay, folks, that's 235 is the water that's coming out of the tap. That is not potable. Uh, you, you can't drink that unless you want to get sick. Yeah. So here at my buddy's water station, uh, they're rocking a three. All right. And uh, a couple of reasons for that. Number one, all this stuff is brand new. They're still waiting on the, the final permit to get it operational. So once it gets the final permit, to be operational. Everything here is brand new, brand new filters, the whole setup, including the uh, ultraviolet water sterilizer. All right, now if you, don't, if you don't have the jug, they'll deliver you the jug for 200 pesos, that's four US dollars fill, and then you own the jug. And then every time you refill it, it's 50 cents. And that's, that's delivered. Now, if you want to tip the drivers and all that, uh, that's up to you, but $4 delivered, you own the jug. 50 cents to refill. Yeah, yeah, folks, look at that. That's clear. That is clear right there. 
Look at that. All right, now where I'm at, I'm just down from the Grande. The Grande is uh, right there where the crane is. And it's called Passionate Water Refilling Station, and it's right next to Labata Pro, which is a uh, uh, laundromat here. I'm gonna take a chaser on this. Now that's some good H2O right there. Mm. Yeah, folks, where, where I'm at is Sarmiento Street, just down from the Grande. And right across from, I'm not sure, what, what's the sign right here? Soar to New Heights. Something about the Jackson Park Suites. Anyhow. They're not open yet. They'll be open in a few days once they get all the required permits and everything approved. But if you're looking for some good H2O, uh, this is where I'm going to get my water from. Mm. <sighs> Delicious. All right, folks, filled up my water before I left. Anyhow, they're opening up soon. You know probably I don't know six months ago you guys heard me complain on many videos that I quit getting refilled water we use a bunch of different places over there in Barreto and Brown Subic and all that stuff and the problem is if these guys don't change them filters at some point the filters get clogged up they come apart and you know you can just do your test just get your water at a different place every week and take a look in there and unfortunately a lot of these guys don't uh change the filters when they're supposed to that's why i quit using them i started buying uh just a bottle of water you know the five liter seven liter jugs what have you yeah it puts a lot of plastic into into the environment but you know what at least the water is pure uh, but now that my buddy's opening up this place, I got somebody I can trust. <laughs> I'll go back to buying water because it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Plus, they deliver it. You don't have. You don't even have to lift it. It's like burning something, burning trash or something over here. Oh, okay. Got a little burn pile going on over here at this old home place. Them beautiful trees. But anyhow, I'm gonna go back to ordering my water. And they deliver it. The dudes will lift it. All you gotta do is pay them. 50 cents a jug. So I told him, I said, man, let me get my shit straight, let you get opened up. Once you get opened up for business, let's see, if I order five from him, you know, 200, four bucks each. What was that, $20 bill for five? Probably just tell them, bring me 10 of them. Then they ain't gotta worry about it. Beautiful yellow color on that little sorry, sorry store. Looks like a wood shop here on the left. Oh wow, looks like they're making wooden mugs in there. K2K furniture and upholstery. And those are nice little tables back there. You know what I miss? I certainly miss my cooking table. Cooking table I had on the balcony of the penthouse suite. That thing was great. Just the right height. I think it was at 36 inches, somewhere in there. Here's some townhouses. Townhouse for rent. Unfurnished four bedrooms. Nice looking townhouses. Next to the 10 spot hangout resto bar. Pork steak, American style, 300 pesos. And a chicken curry was 300 pesos. Six US dollars.
studio tight and room for rent. Folks, everybody asks me always, where's a good place to find a spot? How do you find a place? Folks, wherever you're going, especially in Southeast Asia, just get you a hotel for three, four days. Put your shoes on, put your blue suede shoes on. Just start walking around, looking at signs, and we'll find you a good local deal. Really, the only place you can go in this country to find anything online is Facebook Marketplace. Y'all know how much I hate Facebook. But if you're looking from afar online, it's probably the only thing that's current. All these real estate sites, they're so saturated. Multiple listings, old listings. You know, there's no MLS here, so it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world about who tries to get a commission on a sale or rent. So, you know, what I recommend, just get to where you're going, put your shoes on, start walking around, you'll find a good local deal. Or try a Facebook marketplace for the Philippines. All good things must come to an end. What is this? You're getting grease on my on my charcoal here. What is this? Oh, like a sports car. Corvette, baby. Now, folks, here's the charbroil gas grill that me and Smokey Joe been barbecuing on. To contrast that to the Big Mac Daddy Barrel Pro smoker over here, you can see. The size difference. I mean, you can't really appreciate the size difference, so you put them right next to each other. This thing is a tank over here. It makes this thing look tiny. And that's a good size grill. Is this the uh, hair braiding day? <laughs> Who did that to you? Your sister? Beautiful. Good job there, Flo. Oh, something about opening up a salon with Flo. She got all kinds of skills, everything from hair salon to uh, manicure, pedicure. What about putting some pork chops on this thing tonight? Just charcoal down there, just pork chops on the grill. Folks, a lot of y'all have asked me if this thing comes fully assembled, and the answer is yes. It's fully assembled because it's all welded together. You can't take the thing apart even if you wanted to. Um, the only thing that I had to do when this thing came, this. The smokestack is in there, you know, threaded in there. It was just over like this. So all you got to do is stand it up and then it's tight in place. And this little man right here came inside the grill. So to assemble it, literally all you had to do is stand up the, the smokestack, put that in there right there. That's your assembly on this grill. So yes, it comes as is, fully assembled. Now, obviously this thing folds down and it's wrapped up in bubble wrap and plastic wrap. All you gotta do is take all of, all of it off, stick those two things in place and it's ready. There you go. Barrel Pro, classic size, smoker grill. Bose speaker, cigar, drinking a Jim Beam Apple and Coke. Hanging out with Smoker Joe. Life is good, my friends. And I've asked the lady several times if they want me to cook tonight. And I guess we got enough food in there. They don't want me to cook tonight. So I'm just hanging out here, just dreaming about tomorrow night when I can cook on this grill. I want my kids to understand the taste of beef ravioli. I'm not saying it's healthy, but I grew up eating that. Every time I had ravioli, it was delicious. And I got these babies in there scarfing down rice. No, they got to taste ravioli tonight, my friends. Listen to Elvis, a little silent night. Shout out to my buddy Joe. He invited me to go out tonight, but I can't go out tonight, man. Uh, I'll have to explain it to you later, buddy. I can't go out tonight, but I am celebrating a small victory from today. But in the same sense, I got to be on standby. And I can't go to Walker Street, man. Hope you have a good time. Don't get in trouble, buddy. Next weekend, I'll be in the game, my brother. 
when you take it up to 90 folks that is beautiful that is absolutely beautiful i got the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker that piece of gear right there is made in america by the good folks down in south pittsburgh tennessee my friends and i'm rocking it out on the other side of the globe here coming to you live angeles city in the philippines i'll be home for christmas the question is where's home i told you i'm a current resident of planet earth and a citizen of nowhere so where's home I don't really know all right now what i did i put too much water in there but i'm gonna rex resurrect this chef boy rd <laughs> with a can of cream of chicken campbell soup Funny thing is, folks, I live in Southeast Asia. I don't eat shit out of cans. I don't buy shit out of cans. But occasionally I catch myself and I say, you know what? My kids have no sense of flavor of the, of the things that I grew up with in America. And if I take them to America, they're not going to know Chef Boyardee or cream of chicken soup or stuff like that unless I introduce it to them. Now, I know you don't really usually mix Chef Boyardee with cream of chicken soup, but I put too much water, so I had to resurrect it. It's got to be a little thicker. It's perfect. I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. Because you know what they're feeding them right now? They're in there eating rice and leftover chicken. And if it were up to my Filipinas, that's all they would eat. That's all they would feed the chicken or feed the children. Rice and a piece of chicken there's more to life than that i love chicken i love fried chicken i love barbecue chicken grilled chicken i'm gonna eat some rice and i'm gonna say i love it but there's just more to life than all that shit but if you don't intervene that's all they'll introduce your children to so everybody that's got kids over here living in the village uh, without you interjecting some foreign guy flavors your kids are growing up eating chicken and rice, and that'll be all they want. Move them to America, they're going to be like, what the hell is going on? Where's the chicken and rice with the magic syrup and the soy sauce? Okay? I'm trying to teach y'all about real life. You're not going to hear this shit on Condé Nast. Top 10 places to retire. Number one, Chiang Mai. Number two, Boracay, or whatever the bullshit they come up with. And I gotta tell you, real life. I'm gonna tell you right now, smell coming off this Chef Boyardee cream of chicken soup combination. That's even better than being in America, my friends. The good old US of A. I miss the 70s. The only thing I miss about America is the 70s. Go back to the 70s, I'll move back to America. Pretty simple kill the heat on this bad boy because that large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker will retain the heat for just a minute and when i bring this in there these ladies are going to fall in love they're not going to admit it they're always giving me shit about my cooking why because i'm a foreign dude look at them filipinos go to town look at them look at them get a bite of that ravioli get a bite of that ravioli look at her Get a bite of that ravioli, baby. Look at, oh, she's going in for the kill like a shark. He went out there with two cans. There's no rice involved. But for some reason, it's it's delicious. No, she's trying to tell her, tell Papi, he don't cook good. Listen to Elvis out here, folks. Living in the 70s in my mind. Life is wonderful, my friends. Now, look at Flo. I told him, I said, don't put no rice on that sauce. You put it on bread. Look at him. They got pissed off at me because I told him, hey, don't put no rice on my dish. You put bread on that dish. Sweetie, papaluto masa wrap di ba? No? <laughs> Papa don't cook good? No? Okay, well you seem to be eating Papa's soup. 
Zalu. Last throughout the year. Your good times and your laughter too. Celebration. We gon' celebrate and have a good time. It's time we come together. Around the world, come on. I grew up listening to Cool in the Gang. If you don't like it, don't give up. Celebrate good times. Come on. A celebration. Fucking party of one out here on this little balcony. Thanks for fucking joining me. Nobody gonna tell me how to live. Nobody. Oh. Settle over there, baby. Yeah. It's over there. You may proceed. Situation. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. My gosh. That's delicious. Good job for us, Jay.